Since we're talking about the airport, it comes to mind 33, uh, day 33 of the government shutdown. I think the TSA, also the FBI, have spoken many times at the headquarters of the FBI there in Newark. Right. How is this affecting uh, folks who live in your town, work in their town, that work for the government? I get calls every day. Uh, social media requests, uh, you know, folks who uh, have not had a paycheck in, in, in almost a month now, uh, you know, need water, food, uh, you know, have to pay their rent, you know, mm -hmm. pay their mortgage, all of these things, uh, you know, these people, folks aren't rich, these are working people who uh, can't miss these paychecks. Some of them living from paycheck to paycheck, so it's difficult. So the city is going to have to figure out ways to kind of help mitigate these problems. Does it affect security, though? Sure, well. it affects security. Uh, you know, even though people are mandated to go to work, mm. you know, at these airports, uh, a lot of folks uh, are, are just not doing it. And they're, they're, they're people who uh, even, you know, in, uh, I heard earlier in a report about the FBI, you mm -hmm. know, right. that stuff affects ongoing cases that, that are happening in our city right now. So uh, that is uh, very, very dramatic in terms of uh, our ability to function every day. So in the middle of all this, you're trying to appeal to the president to uh, get Get a little of the money uh, that he wants to spend on that border wall and help your water situation in Newark because it is pretty scary. Absolutely. We have about 15,000 to 20,000 homes with uh, lead service lines, hundreds of thousands across the state of New Jersey, 10 million across the United States. Uh, uh, lead service lines that, that need to be replaced. And lead, you know, if you start getting lead in your system, it could lead to so many different things besides learning problems. Right. and. What are some of the other issues that you're concerned about? Well, mostly young people, uh, mostly uh, developing children. Lead gets in their blood. It, 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 it inhibits the development of, of their brain, of their organs. Uh, it makes it difficult for them to concentrate, to focus, to, to learn all of the things you said, uh, to grow. Uh, and this is a problem that's curable, it's fixable, right? We can, we can do something about How this. How much would it cost? Well, in Newark, it costs us about $75 million across the country. It'll be at least $30 billion across the country. In the interim, uh, what are you doing, though, right now, as you're appealing to the president? What are you doing to try to fix the matter? Well, we've already passed out about 30,000 water filters. We're changing the corrosion control inhibitor. That's the uh, thing that... Uh, uh, coats the pipes to stop mm. lead from leaking into the water. We're about to change that uh, in February. Uh, we have already gotten money from the state to begin replacing some of our uh, lead service lines. About 1,500 uh, in March we're going to begin. Have you heard from the president? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't heard from him at all, or anybody uh, uh, in his office for that matter. Let's talk about um, congratulations to you and the city of Newark because we hear the crime rate has dropped to record levels. Yes. What do you attribute that to? Well, uh, you know, better police work. Uh, a lot of collaboration between uh, the, the police department, uh, community organizations that exist, Newark Community Street Team, uh, Newark Street Academy, unemployment being reduced. All of those things uh, have an impact on crime uh, reduction in the city. And uh, we have a very, very collaborative uh, you know, atmosphere in the city. Plus, all of the agencies have been helping us. The DDA, the ATF, the state police, the FBI have all been on board helping us uh, to reduce crime in the city. In the meantime, so much growth also. So development in the community, downtown area, the art, um, a nod, of course, to your great father, Mary oh, Barak, the great thank poet. Um, that must be a part that's also helping the city. Sure, absolutely. I mean, the development that comes, that's happening in the city, people moving into our community, uh, all of that has an effect on, you know, what's happening in our town, the growth, the development, the economy, helps to reduce crime and reduce unemployment at the same time. So, so. The, the economy, Newark is feeling the economy doing well. Yeah, in, in, in Newark, we, we are uh, experiencing a boom that we've experienced for some time, uh, and uh, we want to continue that. We want it to be consistent. So is Cory Booker slightly jealous of your record? <laughs> <laughs> just no, like a little bit, that. just a little bit. Well, he's, he's been very helpful, I should say that. You know, we've been working a lot closely together to make sure that this stuff is happening, helping us bring business to our city. It's been very instrumental in and that. Along those lines, you ever have any aspirations to go the route of Mr. Booker? Oh, no. No, no, no. I think what I'm doing in Newark is enough. Uh, being the mayor is just a huge load by itself. Mayor yeah. Baraka, All thank right. you so much.